On the census, you on are message to clean up a mess of the government's making. LGBTIQ plus Australians matter and they will count in the 2026 census. Counting after calculating the political impact of a decision to quietly pull questions on sexuality and gender from the next census over concerns it was divisive, alienating allies and frustrating those within its own ranks. We had good intentions here and we've listened to the community and we've worked with the ABS. The next national survey will now ask Australians aged 16 and over about their sexual orientation and gender, with the option not to answer. And on the back of advice from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, it will exclude any questions about variations of people's sex characteristics. Initially seeking to appease anger, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese had said one question would be included. The Treasurer today clarifying it will be a whole topic, with details to be determined at a later date. The ABS will work out the questions themselves. The government doesn't write the questions. This is a sensible and moral course of action. For the very first time in Australia, crucial data about some of the most vulnerable populations in this country will be collected. The decision fulfils a promise Labor made to the party faithful, with the government Australia also hoping it will put an end to the politically damaging saga. Our values around this have always been very clear. We seek to include everyone. We're in the middle of a cost of living price crisis and they've now had a two-week long internal debate about questions on the census in two years' time. In trying to avoid a culture war, the government unwittingly started one. And now, with the census issue seemingly resolved, Labor will use the return of Parliament this week to try to gain control of the agenda, with a focus on the economy. It'll also seek to win over the coalition in its bid to overhaul funding of the aged care sector and create a federal environment watchdog, trying to break the deadlock to secure political wins. Stephanie Dalzell, ABC News, Canberra.